Oh, hey, everybody. Do you ever get that sinking feeling that your long weekend's going to turn into a home improvement project? Well, I've got that sinking feeling right now because I've got to replace this sink in the bathroom. This sink is clearly broken and rotting and rusting away. First step is to turn the supply line off. I got a nice new valve over here on the right. And then the one on the left, just kind of have to spend an hour down here and do it notch by notch. First tip of success. We actually got the water turned off to the sink. And we got some screws to undo here as the thing clamps on. So we'll do that. All right, I disconnected the supply hoses. Uh, okay, I got, uh, I don't know. Ah. Uh, all right, disconnected the sewer thing, uh, uh, drainy thing. So I just unscrewed all the clips on the bottom. So this whole thing now comes out whole. Look at that. Now I've got a big oval circle. Yeah, you can really just see how that whole thing just rotted and started breaking. That's no good. Scrape off some old caulking here. All right, we got our beautiful new sink here. We're gonna attach the faucet and the uh, drainy pipe thing, so, and the hoses before we st stick that in there. Yeah, I've got the new sink with the faucet installed per the instructions. I uh, attached the hoses in advance and I've got the plumbing piece there. All right, put a line of caulk around the rim. We set the sink in, I did have a, a helper just because I think this one pipe is too long uh, to kind of guide to guide those uh, two pieces together. And then uh, I wiped away the excess caulk up here. So now I'm gonna make connections down below. Okay, so you can see up there, the incredible caulk. Yeah, all around the rim there. And then we'll put our, put our dealy do back down here. Sorry, uh, videographer, I am not. We'll get these going here. Um, yeah, so just following the instructions. So if you see anything that I've done wrong or that should be addressed, and then we'll tighten this one back up too. So she'll stop dripping and we'll tighten this one up here too. So she'll stop dripping. We'll get these uh, water hoses connected and then we will see if she leaks. Hopefully she does so I can have a really sad weekend. Here it is. The moment of truth. I'll turn this one on first. We'll look for leaks and ha unhappy sadness. There's some water there, but maybe that's from before. You never really know. Oh, yeah, not pre recorded and totally uncoordinated. Well, I don't see water spurting out. That's good. Excellent. Oh, I just turned that with my hand. <laughs> I've been doing it that way the whole time. I could have just twisted it with my hand. Cool, let's go up top. All right, let's check her out. Well, that don't seem to line up in the middle, though. I don't know what's going on there, but... Heck, we can always redo it and spend more money, right? Nice. See if there's any leaks down below. You know, I don't see any catastrophe. Nice. Nice. All right, so as I wrap this up, I put another bead of caulker on the outside of the rim. The one thing I don't understand, and maybe if you're a plumber or uh, you know about these things, um, there's no bit retention on this thing. Is that correct? Uh, did I do it completely wrong? Because I completely imagine children will just come up here and push on this and it'll just break loose like every other day. But anyway, running like a champ, move on with the weekend. Have a great day. I love you all.